when the deal goes through, like everyone, you don't want the deal. If you have a massive cap, you don't want the deal going through in December, right? Like if you can control that, like you'd rather the deal go through in January. Mm -hmm. You have an idea of exactly what your capital right. gains are. Now we have 12 months to potentially tax loss harvest That's and five different ways to offset that. that deal. That is a huge part of what we do too. It's like, well, when's the deal going through? Now you can't always control that exact amount, yeah. but year end is kind of tough. And then is, are the, are the, in the political landscape, is that changing That's the next a really year good too? Point, yeah. So there's all these other things that come into play that you can't control, but you're given the deck of cards and you got to play the hand that you're dealt, but control the certain things that we can. And if we know that we could have a full 12 months to tax loss harvest and potentially offset some of those capital gains, even if it saves you five to ten thousand dollars on a tax bill, it's worth it. No, it's funny. So generally, uh, you know, October, September, November, we get a mad rush on buyers because buyers are on the opposite side of that. Right. They're like, cut right. the yeah. check now, yeah. make right. them cover now before it goes into next year. Uh, but we've we've absolutely had clients that um, the transaction, you, you know, come November, it's just it's dead. It's going to sit until the following year, so that everyone can prepare that so yeah i i think you guys both have transitioned into a great as we get to wrap up here um what are the biggest things post transaction that buyers need to be preparing for today post transaction that's a good question 